So hey guys, it's Quickie Baby the third closed beta War Thunder. Ground Forces test server has been released and there's quite a few new tanks that you might be interested in. Just to show you the trees, here is the Russian tree. We can see there is a new tank destroyer, the ZIS-30. This thing has the most dangerous gun in this current iteration of the test. A 57mm with 110mm of penetration up close, deviating to 91 at distances of 1,000 meters. Now there are no very, very, very heavily armored tanks in this iteration of the test. What this means is that the ZIS-30, if it hits a target, generally it penetrates it. And after one or two hits, it will generally kill the target. Now this thing is highly mobile at 42 kilometers an hour. However, if you're expecting to have any kind of hull armor, really not. This is sort of like a matchbox on tracks, 10 millimeters at the front, seven, seven at the side. This thing needs to be opportunistic and hopefully never get shot at, but it is the most dangerous tank in this current version of the test server. We have a T60, uh, a light fast scout tank with a 20 millimeter cannon that fires very quickly. This thing is, is okay speed wise, 43 kilometers an hour. However, it doesn't really have any hull armor and its armor penetration is very weak. So you need to use this tank to take locations and try and really engage lightly armored targets, such as for example, the ZIS-30 that we just talked about. Then we have the T26, 30 kilometers an hour top speed limit. It's got pretty good gun depression at 6 degrees, has basically no armor though, but it has quite a punchy 45mm gun which is able to penetrate most tanks in this test server. Moving on from the T26 we have the T28, this is a very interesting tank on the test server, weighing in at 25 tons and able to shift at 50 kilometers an hour with a great track traverse of 44. It uses a 76mm which is absolutely brutal, the high caliber nature of the round generally takes out the lighter tanks if it's able to go in, and it generally does having 68mm of penetration up close and 55 at a thousand meters. Here we have the BT-7 which has similar kinds of characteristics as the T-28 but it does have 90 degrees maximum inclination. Now this tank is very lightly armored and it has the same 45 millimeter that the T-26 gets which is quite punchy against lightly armored targets. Moving on from the BT-7 we can see the T-34 which is probably the strongest tank on the test server and I feel like it's a little unbalanced when it's fighting against the other tanks really. This thing is fast, 49 kilometers an hour. It has 45 millimeters of armor all around, apart from at the rear where it has five millimeters less. However, the armor is very well angled and the enemy tanks find it very hard to penetrate and it gets a rather dangerous 76 millimeter gun, which is capable of penetrating really all the tanks on the test server. Next, we'll look at the Germans. We can see there's a, a Stug 3 Alfs A, which is fast, very well armored at the front, has excellent gun depression of 10 degrees. However, with its stock ammunition, its armor penetration is very underwhelming. However, we can see that there is an upgraded ammo, which is a heat, which gives this tank a universal 81 millimeters of penetration at all ranges. Really, this heat ammunition will totally change this tank, going from it's struggling to penetrate tanks at almost all ranges, to being able to basically penetrate every tank at any range. And that's some of the interesting aspects of ammo upgrades in War Thunder. The Black Panzer I've already reviewed, but it makes a return to try and provide some anti-air support. Then we have the Panzer IV Alpha C. It's pretty fast. It has 10 degrees of gun depression. Mediocre armor all round though. And it gets the same 75mm as the Stug, which when upgraded with heat ammunition will be able to penetrate tanks at all ranges but stock, which is generally how you're going to play it on the test server because you don't have that much time probably. Because the test servers aren't up that much, it's not going to have the penetration to really pose much of a threat to its opponents, apart from the lightly armored ones. Here we have the Panzer III Alps E. All these German tanks get a pretty darn good gun depression. This one's got 10 degrees as well. This is fairly fast at 43 kilometers an hour. It's not badly armored with 30, 30, 20, and it has a 37 millimeter gun, which has got mediocre penetration until upgraded. Then the Alps Verung F, which is very fast indeed, 67 kilometers an hour. This thing is able to absolutely bomb it around and it does have a couple of ammunition upgrades which make it very effective at short ranges if you choose to use the Pisa GR40. But the ammunition is slightly worse at one kilometer plus than the Pisa GR39. But generally with these kind of tanks, they're not sort of like the long range heavy tanks that those kind of one kilometer shots are really going to start to count. Then we have the PZ-2 Alsperung C, which is pretty fast, lightly armored, and gets a 20mm flat gun. And then the Alsef, just 44 kilometers an hour, very weak armor, and a similar gun. There's another medium tank, PZ-K-38T, which again has mediocre armor, 37mm, 
but doesn't perform very well until you get the APCR round. In my opinion, a bit of a nothing tank. So I must say the highlights of the test server for me would be a Panzer IV, Alsperung C with a 75mm, the Stug 3. When they get the heat ammo, I feel that they underperform until they get the heat ammo. I'm quite interested to see how this Panzer III with its 67km an hour top speed limit performs as well. And from the Russian side, I think this ZIS-30 is very interesting indeed, here you can see it. I have played this tank a couple of times and it doesn't have a full turret traverse. Its turret can only point, I think it's within maybe 45 degrees at the front. Total arc, that is. I'm going to try and get some gameplay to show you guys. This is a highlight along with the T-34. And those really are the power tanks on the test server at the moment. Anyway guys, this was just a short video to show you all the tanks on the third version of this closed beta test server. I'm going to get to recording the gameplay for you now and I'll be releasing that individually for all the different tanks. If you've enjoyed this video or it's been helpful to you, please consider rating it down below. Thank you so much for watching, you've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.